All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here and wanted to do a real quick video about two cases that I actually picked up for my smartwatch. So currently I'm rocking the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now, as you can see, this is the shiny boy. So this is the LTE version. Uh, this is the 44 millimeter version. So real big face, I really like it. It's a good sized watch. Uh, and then of course the backing is, you know, that newer style on the back for the Galaxy watches or active watch. But anyway, so I picked this up actually just a few days ago. I had the Galaxy Active 2 44 millimeter uh, when it first came out. But then when I switched devices and got away from Samsung, um, which I would love to get back into Samsung, they're just too expensive for me right now. Um, I um, ended up selling it and, you know, was it. Ended up actually going with the Garmin Vivo Active 3 because I was really only using it for when I was working out. So it worked just fine. Uh, highly recommend the Vivo Active 3. But um, just recently, uh, I was just kind of looking on um, Facebook and this guy was literally selling this uh, and he was only asking $120 for it. And then I offered him 80 and he literally was like, yeah, man, if you can get it today, I'll do 80 bucks. So... <laughs> So I picked this up for $80 and it's the LTE version and uh, it was his. He just said he never used it and it was paid for and obviously it is because I can actually add this to my T-Mobile account. I already looked into it, but I'm not going to do that yet. But enough about all that. Cases. So I picked up two of them. So when I originally had the Galaxy Active 2, there wasn't very many cases out there to choose from. There were just a bunch of cheap crappy, shiny, plastic cases, and I didn't want that. So finally I looked again when I picked this up a few days ago, and there was a few different options that I could choose from. There's actually three really good options, but I only went with two because the third option was back ordered for like another week, so I at least got two out of the three. So the first one that we're gonna do is one that I already opened, and I would show you the box, but unfortunately I accidentally left it in my car. This is kind of an impromptu video. But what I did is I picked up this one here. So this is the Spigen um, case that you can get. I think it's like the liquid armor or something like that. But see if I can get the detail here. Um, but it's, it's a really nice little case. Uh, it's not special by any means. Um, you've got the branding there. You got the cutouts there wherever they need to be. Um, you got your uh, back button and your home button there. And then the cutouts where the watch straps goes. Uh, I do wish that it um, covered the chrome part here, but there is a little bit of the chrome at the bottom that's exposed and then this part here is exposed, um, which isn't a big deal, but for me, like I like black watches, so I really wish that it would have covered that up, but it kind of gives a two-tone look, so it's not that bad. Uh, and then there's kind of like this ridge. Uh, see if I can get it in the video here. There we go. Um, so it's like a ridge, almost kind of like a faux carbon fiber look, but it's not really carbon fiber. Um, that's probably a bad example. Just gives it a little bit of texture instead of it just being completely smooth. And then of course it's the cutout here, which here in the back it says for Galaxy Watch Active 2, 44 millimeter. So there is a little bit of that on the back. Um, so yeah, so super simple watch uh, case. It's actually really easy to put on. Um, it just took me a little bit of time, but basically with the watch case, you just kind of start from the top, push the top through, and then you almost pull the bottom down here. So as you can see, as I'm working it, it's, you just gotta have to pull this plastic over and then voila, there it is. So it gives it this nice black look. So the complete front of it now is just this complete black color. So I like that. As you can see here, you can see the fangs that I'm talking about that are chrome. And then there is a little bit of the chrome that's exposed still. Um, you know, there's a microphone there. And then the top there, you can see the chrome exposed again. You can see that the back is completely um, open, so it's not covering the heart rate sensor or anything like that. 
uh, you got your uh, opening here so all the ports and everything are cut uh, the clickiness it's there so the buttons are very tactified so I like that um, but yeah I mean it's a very slim case um, I picked this up for $14.99 on Amazon with Prime Shipping so it's a, definitely a case I would recommend it's not gonna protect it hardcore by any means but if you have the Chrome version like I do it's gonna definitely protect it from scratches so that's a big big selling point so like I said there is the Spigen case so like I said pretty good little case so the way to take it off is actually to start from the front and then you just kind of because it took me a minute so from the front you just lift it up and then pull and then there you go and that's it so easy peasy so the second case is one that I actually haven't got to even open yet so this is going to be a true unboxing of this case so they didn't have this out when I originally had the uh, active watch or two or however you say it um, but Subcase has one now so it's a unicorn beetle pro um, so I just picked this up it literally just got shipped here today so I got it like maybe an hour ago so I haven't even opened it yet um, and then there's an installation steps on the back uh, the cool thing about this watch is it is a full-blown case just like the one that they make for the Apple watches so it's a case that's covering the phone it's completely covering everything so all the chrome is going to be covered and it includes a built-in watch strap with the case so you're literally getting a watch strap everything this also was Amazon Prime and it was $19.99 on Amazon so let's check it out so here so we'll look at so there's a thanks for your support kind of little card here and then QR code and some stuff on the on the back of it so no big deal and now the watch case itself so let's check this out here and here we go so this thing is pretty sick so it's like this faux carbon fiber and the watch band as you can see there um, it's all over all the carbon fiber so you can see the carbon fiber there when I'm turning it with the light hitting it it's on the front right here so you can see and we got subcase branding here not on the top and then once again that faux carbon fiber is built into the watch strap itself and then this is what the front of it looks like so it gives it very much like this very rugged um, almost like a G-Shock look um, it's got like the fake like screw looking uh, stuff there which it's um they're not screws they're, it's just plastic but it looks like they're screws it looks like you can put an allen wrench to it but there it is so let's try it on um oh well, let me show you all this real quick so it's kind of the the dual uh strap there with the dual prongs where you can go into it and then of course then it says um if i can get in focus there uh well it says ub pro so unicorn beetle pro right there yeah okay so let's put it on so this is honest to god i haven't put it on yet so hopefully i don't make a fool of myself as i'm trying to put it on here uh, but it looks pretty simple i have to imagine oh that's easy just literally just pop it in on the back so as you can see there, there's uh, openings here and here for the the prongs or as I call them the fangs of that watch. So the whole back is completely open, exposed. The heart rate monitor or sensor is not covered at all. Uh, the front is completely covered. So all you're seeing is the screen and the touch bezel or the digital bezel is um, exposed as well still. So. Let's try it on real quick. Let's see what it looks like. And there we go. 
pretty big. I like big watches in general, but as you can see here, how it sits up on my wrist, it's not huge by any means. Um, looks pretty, pretty awesome actually. I'm gonna turn it on real fast. So getting it turned on, and we'll kind of see what it looks like. I think I might go one notch tighter. So I don't have very small wrists, but the nice thing about this case or this case I can tell is that, um, you know, like, so I have it on the third, um, let's see if I can get it here. So the third line, I have it on that one right now and it's very snug, but not uncomfortable by any means. Um, and then there you go. So. It looks pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. I really think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but it does really give it that G-Shock look. Um, so yeah, pretty cool little case. But like I said, it's only $19.99 and I picked it up on Amazon. So it got here in two days. Normally a lot of my stuff lately has been coming like in one day. But um, this one took two for some reason. But uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. So I uh, I like this case a lot especially with the carbon fiber accents and everything and all the proper cutouts on it and all that. So yeah, two cases I would highly recommend. Now the third one where I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it or not, but the only reason why I would buy it is it's the Rinky brand. Um, R-I-N-G-K-E, I believe is how it's spelled. Um, basically they have one that looks just like the Spigen one. Uh, but the only difference is that you can actually... Uh, use their um, aftermarket bezels if you want to put on it so that way it gives your watch a little bit different look um, you know that you can do like a chronograph bezel or something like that and it just gives it a little bit different look um, instead of just using only the case so it is compatible with those which is pretty nice because I had a Garmin Vivo Active uh, or excuse me I not a Garmin I have a Garmin Vivo Active 3 I had a Garmin Phoenix 3 that you, um, the the bezel on those are just like scratch magnets. So uh, that Rinky brand makes a ton of um, bezels that you can put on those. So it's kind of cool. Um, but either way, guys, I would highly recommend these two watch cases if you do have a um, Galaxy uh, Watch Active 2. Um, 44 millimeter or 40 millimeter, they make them for both, but I have the 44. But if you do have this watch, comment down below and let me know how it's been holding up for you since it's been out for a little while. Because I know with the Galaxy Watch 3 being launched uh, just uh, about a week or so ago, um, I'm curious to see if you're going to start seeing these prices drop a little bit. But uh, if you do, what case are you using? Do you have a screen protector on it? Uh, looking at this, it looks like that a tempered glass screen protector will work just fine since this is a um, nice size watch case it's not covering anything on the face so i think i can put a temper glass on here and i'll be just fine um but other than that guys i hope you have a great day be safe out there and i hope you enjoyed the video